And today I want to show you how to uh, export your HTML5 file or a web file for a web game. We're going to do it right now. So we have our previously opened file. If you haven't seen the Bloom tutorial on how to enable Bloom in your 3D game, you can go watch that link in the description or just go find it on my channel. Do I have that many videos? If not, you probably already know how to do it or you're not interested. So first thing we're going to do is go down to the Armory player and we're going to and clean that already and we're going to play the clean removes the catch files uh, so it doesn't have any clutter and so it runs smoothly and as you can see it's compiling and we can open it up in the default Chrome um, player it's the only way to build your um, HTML file uh, to be able to play it because if you open it it won't work directly yes it's fine uh, we're going to set it to a slightly low, that's higher, yeah, something like that, lower resolution, take the viewport samples down to 1, the render down to 2, and we're going to replay it, let's hope this works better, and as you can see, it's looking good, as you can see, it's opened up a local host build as so we can actually see it in the viewport uh, but however when we export this file if you double click and open it it will not do that it will not work and that is because you have to open up a local host in your browser because it doesn't do that automatically it works with websites but with actual game files this will not work you have to upload it or like I said create a host file which is what the um, army 3d does on automatically when you play it in the browser and now we go to the render path we got desktop okay uh, obviously this is the post processing and you don't need to go in that unless you want to have some of that and we already have that sorted out so the render path is desktop that's good now we have to export the project so we have to set the name that we want such as uh, I don't know default cube I guess not the channel the actual cube <laughs> and we can add another or well, a export target such as HTML5 in JavaScript which is JS there uh, which is by default but you can set on literally anything um, we're gonna leave on auto so you know it works better it's automatic and that is all you need to do. Now we can look at our, here we go, our project um, uh, CMD, uh, what do you call it? System console. I forgot the name for a second, don't know how. And we can publish it. Allow access. As you can see, it's finished in 11 seconds, and it's published your pro. Well, it's saved your project as a simple JavaScript folder in this location directory, and it should open up a file uh, with all the different files that you need. Like I said, if you double-click this and try to open it, it will not work because it can't read it unless you open up a local host. Uh, so now that you have exported your file I will show you how to upload it to a web server or host it for free for an unlimited amount of time without you needing to do basically anything with a really cool trick and well sort of hack <laughs> of how to not get scammed with all these web server hosting problems as this you'll need a no domain name You'll need nothing at all, and you'll be able to host your games for free. So yeah, tune in, because this is going to be a one-time tutorial that nobody else has ever done before, and that not many people probably think of. But I do all the time. So, see you there. Link in the description.